Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to install Windows 7 on Mavbook Pro 2012 using Bootcamp Assistant. In this video you are required to have downloaded the Windows 7 ISO. You also need a USB storage device of 16 GB or larger. Now plug your USB flash drive into Mavbook USB port. Once the USB flash drive is plugged in, the USB flash drive mount point will appear on the desktop. Now open Disk Utility. In Disk Utility make sure to select Show All Devices. On the left side, click on the USB drive and then click on Erase in the top right menu. For the name of the USB flash drive I choose Win7. On the format select MS-DOS FAT. I chose MS-DOS FAT because Windows 7 ISO size is smaller than 4 GB. And if your Windows 7 ISO is more than 4 GB choose XFAT. Now go to Scheme and select Master Boot Record. Then click the Erase button to start the erase process. Erase process is complete, then click Done button. Then close the Disk Utility window. Now click Launchpad then click Bootcamp Assistant. In the Bootcamp Assistant window click Continue. Here you can choose three options. First click the checkbox on Create an installation disk of Windows 7 version or later. For the second click the checkbox on Download latest Windows support software from Apple. Finally, click the checkbox on Install Windows 7 or later version. Then click Continue. On the ISO image and destination disk will be automatically detected. Or you can also select the Windows 7 ISO manually by clicking the Select button. Click on the Windows 7 ISO and then click on the Open button. Then click continue. In the pop-up window the drive will be erased click continue. The process of flashing Windows 7 ISO to USB flash drive is running, wait until the process is complete. As you can see support software for Windows 7 is available for download from the Apple support website. So we need to download manually from Apple support website. For that click the open website button. We will now be directed to the Apple support website. We are now on the Apple support website. You can also read how to install Windows 7 using Bootcamp in detail on this page. Because I want to download Bootcamp support software so I scroll down this page until I find the download link for Bootcamp support software. You can find the download link under Windows Support Software versions available by Mac models. Scroll down until you find the link for the mid-2012 Matabook Pro. Now click on link 5 which is next to Matabook Pro mid-2012. You will be directed to the Bootcamp Support Software 5 download link. Now click on download button to download Bootcamp Support Software for Windows 7. The Bootcamp support software download process is running and wait for the download process to complete. The Bootcamp support software download process has been completed then click on the show in finder icon. Now open the Bootcamp 5 folder. Then select all files. Right click on all files then select copy 3 items. Now open the USB flash drive. Right click on USB flash drive then select paste 3 items. Wait until the Bootcamp support software file copying process is complete. 
the bootcamp support software copy process has been completed then close the finder. Now return to the bootcamp assistant window. For this time uncheck create a Windows 7 or later version install disk. And also uncheck download latest Windows support software from Apple. And which is checked only on install Windows 7 or later version. Then click continue. On the disk partition I click divide equally because I want to split the disk between Mac OS and Windows 7 so they are the same size. Then click the install button. Then enter your Mac admin account password. Then click the OK button. Wait until the hard drive partitioning process is complete. Enter your Mac admin account password again. Then click the unlock button. The MacBook will restart and boot to the Windows 7 USB flash drive. Windows is loading the file and wait for it to enter the language settings window. Now we are in the language settings window. But before starting the installation the camera brightness needs to be lowered because the MacBook brightness button is not working. Now you can choose your language and other preferences. Then click the next button. Now select the Windows 7 version. I choose Windows 7 Ultimate. Then click the next button. Now select I accept the license terms. Then click the next button. Now click on the partition labeled bootcamp. As you can see there is a warning Windows cannot be installed to disk 0 partition 3. Now click on warning. As you can see Windows must be installed to a partition formatted as NTFS. Click the OK button to close the pop-up window. Now click on drive options. Then click format to format the bootcamp partition as NTFS. Then click the OK button. Now click next button to continue the installation. The Windows 7 installation process on the MacBook is running, wait for the process to complete. Now create your username. Then click the next button. Now you can create password for your username or just click next button if you don't want to create password. Now you can enter the serial number of Windows 7 or later. Then click the next button. Here you can select security settings and Windows update. I chose ask me later. Now here you can choose your time zone and date settings. Then click the next button. Now wait for the system to preparing your desktop. Now here you can see bootcamp support software installer window. Click the next button to continue the installation. Now click I accept the terms in the license agreement to continue the installation. The bootcamp support software installation process is running and wait for the process to complete. The bootcamp support software installation process is complete then click the finish button. Then click the yes button to restart the MacBook. Wait for the MacBook restart process to finish. Windows 7 installation process on MacBook Pro 2012 has been successful. So that's it, if this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.